I can find it anywhere, in discomfort after eating a pleasurable meal, or the repetitive strain of what's financially viable, hours that flash about my shoulders in an unexpected sunlit evening, and seeing that you and I seem to have arrived here, wondering whether this latest series of perambulations really looks so enchanted any more, or whether it's best to be forgotten because at least that means something occurred that got the oxygen circulating and the stair carpet worn, and so the sound of our success is a series of slams of doors becoming concentric as we reinvestigate them, each more sacred and more us with every echo, discovering at best we are a smoothed stone emitting ripples across an autumn pond they say exists for those who have read the right books or sentences like that, which we would like to dismantle. Which means, perhaps, we are the circles, not the stone. Perhaps we need new means of measuring our reach, and that these kinds of questions, of course, also become the attic leisure, the supermarket necessity, where other questions hide, hooked, and railed on a rack in a narrow hall. What was always likely is now certain, not that it feels like much, but insistent, and everywhere, the repeated checks of the thermostat, the loss of concentration at the merest sighting, the gaze into the mirror, the unmet mortality of tomorrow.